everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix. It's been quite a while since I've made a video about how to build your latest and best Hercules binaries on your operating system, whether Windows or Linux or Mac OS. Uh, I've had made some videos in the past how to do that, but things have changed quite a bit. Uh, first of all, of course, Hercules itself uh, in the incarnation of uh, uh, Fish's uh, SQL, SDL Hercules 390 Hyperion, as it's called, uh, has made a lot of progress, has added a lot of new features. Uh, let's look at uh, what's uh, what's been going into uh, Hyperion over the last two, three years since I made the last video on this topic. Uh, you will have uh, TCP and GE support, which we of course use for the uh, HNet or BitNet uh, connection between mainframes that I've and non other and non mainframes that I've made plenty of videos about in this channel. Then um, some uh, uh, some other improvements in uh, in things like um, a better support for the uh, X seventy five instruction, which allows. MVS to uh, access the network outside of Hercules and also of course uh, better support for VM and uh, assists for VM and various other assists have gone into it. So it is uh, over the last two three years Hercules and specifically Hyperion has made giant progress and a lot of new cool features have gone into it and I think it is the best Hercules we've ever had. Now um, I've always built uh, Hercules by just uh, cloning the repository and um, and then just uh, running uh, the various commands to build um, uh, Hyperion. However, uh, for some people this is sometimes a bit of a challenge because you need a lot of other uh, dependencies that need to be resolved before you can go and build Hercules this way. And, um, and so some people have actually just used the Hercules package that comes either with Linux through uh, the um, Debian apt uh, packaging system or on uh, with the yum uh, package manager on CentOS or with the brew uh, install on Mac OS and stuff like that and uh, and that's okay but those are very very old versions of, uh, of Hercules that um, don't have all these new features and so there is a gentleman um, called um, WRL jet um, and I don't know if I can say his name here or not. I will ask before I end this video. And uh, and he went and created something very special that a lot of people are using. And I'm also using on non Linux platforms, which is the Hercules Helper uh, scripting system. So um, actually, his name is right here, Bill Lewis. So Bill Lewis went out there and uh, he created a, a sophisticated and very intelligent way of scripting the building of Hercules so that if you launch um, this uh, script it will download all the dependencies for you particular version of the operating system uh, for your particular Mac OS version or your particular Linux distribution and uh, and then builds after a while uh, goes and does stuff and after a while you end up with a fully built um, version of the latest and best Hyperion or Hercules binaries out there on your system and there's a lot of build options and there's a lot of things you can do you can use either the main branch of uh, of uh, Hercules uh, such as the one we're looking at right now but also of course the developers of Hercules they also have a development development branch where some of the latest very latest features are, are put into and sometimes you may want to use the very latest or play with the latest or the or the production branch and so uh, all this can be done with um, the Hercules helper by Bill Lewis and uh, we're going to look in this video how to get this all done To every secretary, whoever asked why centering a line can't be automatic and why setting up columns and indenting and underlining and erasing too can't be automatic. To all those secretaries, IBM says, wait till you get your hands on this. The new IBM electronic typewriter, so automatic that while you fold the letter, it types the envelope. Now that's automatic. So the way to uh, get started with Hercules Helper and build your own um, uh, uh, Hercules for your own particular operating system is, of course, to just clone 
uh, the repository and get started from there. So let's go to the terminal and the first thing we want to do is just clone the Hercules helper repository and uh, just doing it like this and now we change into that directory and if we do that we'll see uh, we have now downloaded a bunch of things um, so we have here the uh, the most important thing to look at is of course it needs a bunch of helper uh, scripts which we're not going to be too concerned with however um, we will look at the readme through the browser again it's more comfortable doing this way but this is basically the most important uh, uh, part of the whole thing uh, that bill lewis, bill lewis put together here which is the configuration file so do we uh, let's look at the options here do we want to trace every bash command no that would probably just do something like set uh, minus x um, to enable tracing um, it, we want verbose Prompt the user before each major step is started. No, we want it to be fully automated. Do not install missing packages if true. Um, we want to install, of course, the missing packages. Um, we don't want to skip. Oh, actually, I think we can skip autogen. Um, all this we can do. Use sudo um, for make install. Um, I think so. I think uh, we want to put it into US user local bin and I'm running on Mac here obviously so I think we're going to put it true. Um, um, we want uh, no bash, so yeah we don't want to modify our bash RC because uh, on Mac OS bash RC is not the place where you uh, put in path variables etc so we're going to put in here true. Um, where do I want working directory? Um, so we're going to build inside the working directory. Uh, and then uh, where do I want to install? I want to install in uh, uh, something called user local. Um, that's what I want to install. So we'll put in the libraries there, the uh, bin directory. Uh, and then uh, here is an important part. Do we want to use the develop branch or the main branch? Uh, obviously, this depends on you. I like to play with the latest features to see what's there. And I think there's actually uh, a few uh, very important new features in the develop branch that I know of. And I don't want to go in too much into it. But I, I, I personally want to use develop. If not, then just use the main branch. Um, do we want to uh, download Regina, which is the Rex uh, interpreter? Mm, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so that's it. So that is all done. Now I am using, let's see what else uh, we have here for Mac OS. Okay. Um, that's the dependencies. And one of the good things um, that Bill did here is he's done a very extensive testing. Um, and you can see here the test metrics. And um, you can see here how much testing he's done on Alma Linux, which I personally think is the best Linux out there. Um, CentOS, uh, even if I say so myself, because I sit on the board of the Alma Linux Foundation. Uh, Rocky, of course. Um, the other CentOS replacement, Debian, uh, Zorin, Ubuntu, and Ubuntu goes all the way from 12.04 to 22.10. So quite extensive uh, testing that he's done here. On the Raspberry, he's done it. And, and by the way, a lot of people also like to run uh, Hercules or Hyperion on the Raspberry. And over there on the Raspberry, on uh, Raspbian, it's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated to build Hercules. So that's one more reason why you would want to have uh, Hercules helper because it just uh, removes all that uh, complexity from building uh, Hercules on non-standard platforms if if you allow me to use the term non-standard so um, one uh, one platform that supported is Mojave and I think I am running Mojave let's just see here I think this is Mojave um, 
but yeah I'm quite sure of that so this is done a very extensive testing now how do we I'm on Mac OS here um, and I'm sure that probably a good 30 35 percent of the people who use Hercules are on Mac OS as well maybe not quite as old a version as I have but as long as you have brew installed um, and I have brew here um, uh, then really becomes quite easy so first of all make sure you have brew of course um, or if you prefer Mac port I have some Mac machines where I have both brew and Mac port they can peacefully coexist together and sometimes you need both for very certain um, edge cases but then um, all you do is really just uh, uh, build all and then you say homebrew if I remember correctly let's see if this flies yep and so then it wants my password and then it starts building um, and so it needs to get wget and so if, if, it, if it's not there it will go and get wget autoconf so it resolves all the dependencies of other uh, commands and programs it needs uh, to go and install uh, what we want so soft float so the one thing about hercules is that it needs certain packages such as for the telnet server such as for floating point and uh, in some cases you would have to first go and build all those things as you can see here it's now um, uh, building all those dependencies or resolving them and now it's running the autoconf to check for the um, features and capabilities of the system i'm on which is part of the normal um, build process for Hercules and I'm running here on an Intel Mac mini I don't know if you can hear the fan of my Mac mini now spinning up a little bit um, I'm running on a on a Mac mini from 2018 3.2 gigahertz with 64 gigabyte memory on SSD so it's uh, it's not the fastest out there but it's a reasonably fast machine I actually like the Mac minis because I can take them with me when I travel and so I just put them in my backpack wherever I go I just pull up my Mac mini and have my full environment with me and uh, I have uh, the keyboard and mouse that I need and uh, a much better environment to work at in a uh, in, a, in an office somewhere in a, in a remote country than doing everything on the laptop even in a hotel you can just hook up the TV uh, sometimes it's better all right so it's building here now and uh, I'm talking to you and in the meantime we can see also um, what kind of resources this is uh, using um, if you switch to um, two terminals then you'll you can see what's going on here how busy the system is yeah so uh, the one thing about uh, the Hercules helper is that it checks it finds out how many CPUs we have in my case I have 11 cores or 12 cores and uh, and then it adapts to that and builds I think with make minus J I think it goes up, up as far as six or eight we could find out in the script but um, but uh, it uses as many resources at it as it can. As you know, you cannot just, uh, for some complex builds out there, when you build with uh, GCC or Clang, uh, you cannot just say, even if you have 64 cores, you can just say make uh, dash J64 because uh, uh, it gets complicated and then um, it either builds software wrong or it will not complete the build. Uh, because those interdependencies become very complicated so there's a limit for instance I've uh, I often recompile uh, GCC because I bootstrap GCC uh, on the mainframe uh, from old uh, GCC which is all the way up to the latest ones and you can't go directly you have to first build the next uh, newer version of GCC and then the next one and next one and so it takes a lot of time and I found out that uh, if I do anything more than uh, uh, J4 in the make process or 5 it will start to have problems particularly with older versions of GCC I think 6 um, is the highest that I've seen complete but that was already uh, I think GCC 8 or 10 I don't remember but uh, okay so we're done here uh, let's switch to signal terminal view again um, and uh, so as you can see this took about what a minute and a half or so and now we have exit status zero and um, 
I already have, let's see what Hercules tells us. So this is Hercules 460, which is of course um, the development branch because 45 is the, let's switch to uh, the browser. If we look here, uh, currently we have 4.5. So that tells us that we build 4.6, which is the development branch. Um, so um, let's go back here to the terminal. And it tells us that build date was April 27 at uh, 8.46 uh, in the morning. So yeah, this is, as you can see here, uh, I'm. this is the build that we just built and it works fine. And if I had, I don't know, uh, yeah, I have here uh, conf. If we do a version, um, then we should be able to see it. Yeah, so this is the latest. And of course, if I IPL 148 now, it will start to work. So this works fine. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, it's IPL just fine. Um, and uh, um, we could now uh, just uh, start the shutdown again. Uh, and, uh, and, and take the machine down again. So um, this all works fine, as you can see. Um, it took what a minute and a half to build a fresh new um, Hercules with all the latest and greatest. Now, I also want to say something about this uh, uh, development branch versus uh, versus the main branch. In the development branch, of course, testing is not as extensive as uh, you would have with the 4.5 branch, right? So, the main branch is a little bit more thoroughly testing. Although I wouldn't say that. Hyperion, uh, this disk repository by Fish is amazingly well tested. Um, it, there is some testing, and I think uh, specifically Bill uh, Lewis is probably the most active tester there. But um, development branch, it just means that uh, it, it should compile, it should build. That's all the guarantee you have with uh, with the 4.6 branch, with the development branch, and. Uh, and uh, uh, if you if you go with 4.6, you may experience bugs, you may experience problems. So you are testing a development branch, and if you encounter uh, problems, then of course you should go to issues and uh, and report the issue so that people can look into it. But um, but uh, that's the difference. So this one should be a little bit more stable. It was released in November 26, so I can say it's about what six months ago, and uh, maybe will be another two, three, four, five months until. Um, development becomes 4. Point, uh, I think 4.7 then, oh no, 4.6, and development becomes 4.7. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, these are the time horizons that we're talking about here. But I think that in my case, 4.6 is what I want to run because it has some very new uh, features that I like to use and need to use. Um, and if you want to build it without Hercules Helper, then of course you can still do it without Hercules Helper, but uh, then you would have to follow uh, some of the videos I've done in the past, how to get it done. Uh, so this is not a video about how to use Hercules um, and all the features of Hercules. This is strictly about uh, using this uh, great um, uh, script set by Bill Lewis that I uh, calls Hercules Helper uh, to get you built very very quickly specifically when you have uh, platforms like uh, the raspberry or uh, freebsd uh, like non 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 mainstream uh, operating systems or or uh, cpu architectures this will help you a lot it's thoroughly tested i use it all the time lots of people use it all the time and uh, and i recommend you do too obviously uh Bill Lewis is uh, very responsive. If you have any issues, you can always go here to issues, open up issues like I did here a couple of years ago, and he's very uh, fast in responding. Also, if you have feature requests or platform requests, I know that for instance, uh, somebody had requested a new herd as the operating system to be added. I think he did, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, yeah, and, um, 
and there's new features being added all the all the time so keep uh, checking this repository for new and exciting new features and thank you bill Lewis, for doing this it's a great service to the community and i really admire bill his uh, he has a great technical mind and uh, and uh, also um, is great at getting along with people so i highly recommend uh, getting to know him on the discord channel he's there quite often now what i thought we could be doing for this video is now uh, do it the other way which is taking uh, cloning the sdl repository from uh, by fish and building it the old traditional way and doing it also on linux so you get to see uh, what it would be like to do it without hercules helper and of course by doing linux and macOS in the same video we cover pretty much everything that's important and uh, why don't we do that let me switch to first of all of course let's clone the repository here let's copy the link to the repository let's switch to uh, the terminal and now we just say i'm here on linux as you can see here that's uh, probably ubuntu 2004 if i'm not mistaken so let's do clone and let's clone the repository and that's going to be a quick one because i've done it before in the video so i'm just doing it as a refresher so let's uh, change into the into the uh, uh, directory and if you go in here there's a there's a subdirectory called util or for utilities and here you have a build level check if you run this uh, shell script it will determine if you have all the dependencies you need to um, to build uh, Hyperion. So it tells me that I need autoconf, yes, I have that, automake, I do, I have bash, I have cmake, a flex, uh, new awk, uh, I have gcc, it requires 6.20, but I have 9.40, so that should be fine. Grep, of course, is almost always there. The linkage editor, the lib tool is very important, and for a long while, lib tool was not mentioned uh, as along the uh, required uh, dependencies to build Hercules Hyperion and some people would uh, uh, stumble over that but now it's there and I think it's actually Bill Lewis again who made sure that uh, th the uh, dependencies check is correct and then M4 make Perl and said or, um, or SED as some people call it so now that we know we have everything we need the only other thing is you want to be sure um, if you want to use compressed DASDs, you will need either busy lib or um, or zip lib and uh, but I have those installed and so now the next step will be to do to just an autogen so this generates the autoconf it's a short script Now, one thing we didn't do here is I didn't I didn't uh, clone the uh, the correct repository. I just realized. Um, so this is now compiled, but it's actually the wrong one. Uh, so let's redo this. Um, git clone minus b develop because we want to use the development branch, and we have to redo the whole thing again. I'm sorry about that. Okay because I want 4.6, I don't want 4.4. .4. So uh, we do again, autogen. And again, it's taking a little bit with the automake. I recently updated uh, the operating system on this box to a newer version. I, and since then, it's been a little bit slow. Now we do configure. Again, it's a bit slow in the beginning. 
Hmm. Interesting. But the build itself, I think, took about maybe I don't know, a minute and a half. Uh, we can try to do it with seven. Let's see if it finishes building with seven cores. It doesn't mean it's seven times faster because some things have to wait for some other stuff to be finished, but uh, we can give it a try. Okay, so we say, okay, so make dash J seven. Let's see if it does it with seven. Again, Bill Lewis is the expert on building uh, Hercules and he also has the commit uh, privileges uh, to the SDL Hyperion repository so he's certainly the big expert on this much more than I am and it's it's running for now so looks like seven parallel is uh, still good enough um, sometimes it finishes build when you put in uh, too much parallelism too many cores to it it will finish build but then the software will have uh, squirrely behavior and uh, when you have like squirrely behavior of Hercules then try to use recompiling it with a, a lower lower parallel setting but uh, this looks fine for now okay so this is done and then the last step of course would be to say uh, make install and if you do that now then you have the latest uh, installation now some people say um, I have to wait I have Hercules running I cannot install the latest build that's not true um, you can always install a copy in, in Unix you can always copy a binary over an old binary and whatever applications running that's using the binary will still use the old one and the new uh, instances will, will use the new um, binary file uh, Unix is smart enough to differentiate with these two things and I'm not too sure that's actually the case in MVS I would have to check on that. It's a good question. So anyway, so now that's installed and if I do that um, Version uh, um, So zilip is there because I had installed it uh, bzip2 is is there as well. Oh, so here it is. So um, well, uh, but uh, this is the latest version. I'm quite sure of it. All right, so this is how you do it. Um, again, if you have any questions, uh, please post uh, your questions in the comments below this video. If you like this video, and if you uh, then uh, press on the thumbs up button. If you like Belou's job, of course, go there and press uh, a star um, for. Uh, for uh, his repository so if you like his work then just go here and press on star give him a, a, a github star and thank you again all for watching see you soon